This is Jim Williams with the Hurricane City Tropical Update video for June 21st, 7.30 p.m. Here's the water vapor loop of the Atlantic Basin, and you'll notice a very strong tropical wave here in the eastern Caribbean Sea uh, that looks like it might be getting a little bit better organized. We'll get to the details on this in just a minute. But over the past several days, you may have noticed a Invest 92L on the tracking map at Hurricane City. It moved through the Leeward Islands near Puerto Rico and is now near Hispaniola and uh, the upper level wind shear just basically shredded this system but part of the energy of 92L is wrapped up with Invest 93L which was a strong tropical wave that was following closely on the heels of 92L and now all of the energy has transferred into the eastern uh, Caribbean Sea as Invest 93L. Now this system is going to move slowly off to the west-northwest over the next several days through the Caribbean Sea and dump a lot of heavy rain over the same areas that were affected by 92L. But this might have a little bit of a better chance uh, for development over the next several days. And again, the system is going to move generally off to the west-northwest and be somewhere in this range here near the weekend. And all residents in the northern Gulf Coast and western Gulf Coast are going to have to pay very close attention to this. And it's not out of the realm of possibility this could affect Florida as well. The Canadian model is indicating that. So we'll watch this very closely. But um, the system is still dealing with a little bit of southwesterly wind shear right, uh, right in this area here uh, due to this upper level low that's right here near the Bahamas. And this is moving in tandem with it. So the models are not really keen on developing this 93L very much. Uh, the, the European model has been up and down with development on this, but we'll just have to watch this closely. All right, let's take a look at the um, models on this system. Here they are. Uh, these are the early model runs. Now, when there's a new invest placed uh, by the National Hurricane Center, it takes a little while for the models to show up on this map, but the early models are indicating uh, the LBAR takes it uh, split in the uprights going into the Gulf of Mexico and the BAMM medium range model has it going toward the Yucatan Peninsula which pretty much um, it, it mimics what the general models are thinking right now there's basically two camps of models uh, but first of all here is the location of 93L and it's lo uh, positioned around uh, just north of the ABC Islands here with 25 knots of wind and it's really not a tight clo lo closed low level circulation at this time so it's not yet a tropical depression and the convection is kind of waning this evening so this is going to be a slow developer. Now here is the AVN, uh, the GFS rather um, and this is going, this is the current GFS forecast for this system and you notice this 1029 millibar uh, Azores high out here. This is the steering mechanism for Invest 93L and you notice uh, here is Invest 93L right in this range down here. And the general flow, if you follow the green area here, this is generally the wall of steering flow that the high pressure uh, pushes down and sends this thing to, toward the west-northwest and uh, would indicate that this would head towards the Yucatan Channel or the Yucatan Peninsula. Now if we go forward in time going out 48 hours, nothing changes very much. The green area maybe shifts slightly a little bit north, so this would indicate that it might take a little bit more of a west-northwest course here in about 48 hours. And that's why the models are thinking it's going to be somewhere near the Yucatan Channel uh, in several days from now, going out about four, four to five days. Now the good thing, the, the thing this thing does have going for it is it has a lot of fanning out of the clouds in the upper levels. In other words, the clouds are evacuating. There's a little bit of a high pressure system aloft over the top of this system, which is kind of shielding it from the wind shear right now. But the problem is there's no low level inflow into the system. And this is the low level map. And uh, notice there's there's a little bit out here like this, but there most of it is back in here, uh, inflow into uh, clouds, be, uh, motion being pulled in at the surface, and there's not really a whole lot going on with 93L invest right now. That's why the system is not really developing that rapidly. And by the way, the pressures are not all that low out here right now. Most of the lower pressure is out in this area, and the pressures are right around, uh, at right at sea level right in here, so it's not really dropping pressures right now, which would indicate development. Now, one of our posters on the message board, Tiny, is uh, nicknamed Tiny. He is out in the Gulf region, out in the Gulf of Mexico right now, working on the Deepwater Horizon um, situation, the oil leak out there. And he's out there to give some support to the uh, 
the people that are handling the um, the software and the the des designing of the uh, the ROVs that you see down there, and he's involved in some of the aspects of that, and he's also doing uh, some uh, research out there with the um, uh, biochemical stuff. It's really a long explanation of what he does out there, but he's uh, not one of the grunts out there. He's one of the guys that are the, the scientists behind the scenes that's uh, doing some sampling out there, and he sent these photographs, and now he did send a picture of himself with these photographs, but he asked me not to show himself in these photographs because he doesn't want to get in any trouble and there I, from what i understand from him that there's pretty tight restrictions on sending photographs out from the scene of the uh, crime so to speak but here they are burning the methane that comes up to the surface uh when they you know from the pipe that's dragging that oil up to the surface and uh, they have to burn it up to the surface here's another shot of that and um finally here's the vessel that uh has been doing a lot of the grunt work on burning the the uh uh the fuels as they come up to the surface. Now here is what they're trying to prevent out there. Uh, here is the oil that's coming up in, uh, this is from Fort Walton Beach, Weather Girl sent these in a few days ago and uh, you can see the size of the, some of the blobs that are laying on the beach here and there's a panned out shot and these are some pretty big blobs here that you have to, uh, now each night they, you have to skip around these because you don't get all over your feet, but each night they come out there and they, the uh, BP people come out on the beach and they clean up all this mess and then the net, as soon as the tides come back in again, the oil washes back up on the beaches. So it's they clean it up, it comes back. They clean it up, it comes back. But um, the people out there are doing a really good job that work on these rigs out there. They're really busting their butt trying to solve this problem. But it's beginning to look unlikely that they're going to stop this leak until the uh, relief wells are in place. And that would be in uh, sometime in the middle of August. So we have a long... And then even if they do cap it at that time, we're going to be dealing with several months of cleanup the oil is still out in the Gulf of Mexico so basically the entire hurricane season we're going to be dealing with oil and uh, uh, it's going to be a bad situation especially if this Invest 93L gets into the Gulf of Mexico um, I just wanted to mention one more thing when I bring that uh, do I have any yeah here's another panned out shot of oil on the beach in Fort Walton Beach and this is Okaloosa Island all right here we are back at the map of Invest 93L I did want to mention that the uh, European model, the ECMWF, uh, the last couple days has had this getting into the Gulf here, and then really uh, the other day it had it going up towards Louisiana and the, the, the spill zone over here, and now tonight it's more toward the west towards Texas and in a weaker state. So there's a lot of uncertainty in the models right now. Just keep an eye on this. We'll do another tropical update video tomorrow to give you an idea on what the models are saying on this Invest 93L, but keep an eye on it. Uh, if in the northern Gulf, uh, you're going to have calm seas for the next few days, but heading toward the weekend, things are going to pick up, and it looks like the wind sp speeds primarily are going to be out of this southeast and east-southeast, which would push the oil back towards Louisiana so um, and uh, maybe Mississippi and Alabama. Uh, right now, it's leaning towards Apalachicola, Florida area over here, but it's, it looks like it's going to shift back more toward the western tip of the panhandle and over toward Mississippi, Alabama, and Louisiana as the wind shift out of the southeast. Well, that's it for now. Oh, one more thing I wanted to mention. Um, this video right here, this is a forecaster from the Florida Department of Emergency Management, and we loop this on occasion when they update these videos uh, on the live feed at HurricaneCity.tv, so check in for that, and they give detailed oil reports on what's happening. Um, that can also be found, again, at the Florida Department of Emergency Management website. That's it for now. Thank you again for visiting Hurricane City.